welcome back. In today's video, we are going to create a repeating pattern and make it randomized so we can turn it and size it, make it random. So stay tuned. Make sure when you go to sign up for Printful and Etsy that you use my links down below that uh, lets Printful know that I'm the one that sent you. And also on Etsy, it gives you 40 free listings. So uh, make sure you use those down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. In the previous pattern video, we created a hamburger repeating pattern. Uh, let me show you that real fast. One thing we couldn't do with this pattern was turn it and rotate it. We can spread it out and do that sort of thing and offset it. But because the actual pattern was created from one image of a hamburger, there wasn't a way for us to transform it this way. So if you're looking for transforming a pattern and being able to randomize the size and everything. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I've started with a square. I'll open up a new one just so you can see how I'm doing this new document. I'm doing using a square three inches by three inches. I'm going to create that. Let me zoom out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and stick with our hamburger since we're having fun with that. I'm going to file and then place grabbing my hamburger. And I'm just going to place it right over here, like so. Again, that X means it lives somewhere else, so we're going to embed it to make it live here. We're going to select our selection tool. And then we are going to copy and paste this guy. So we are going to copy these and place them. It'll give you little guides to line it up and you can line them all up here. You can make them smaller if you want. Like that. We'll go into making a repeating pattern more later, but this is just sort of a random pattern. We'll do one where it overhangs the edge and everything on a different video. So now I've got some hamburgers that are pretty random. Um, I'm going to come over and select them all. I'm going to copy Command C or Edit copy and then I'm going to paste command V and then I can come and drop them in and I'll just command V again drop them in Let's see how that looks and get them lined up I don't need them to be exactly symmetrical because we're going to be messing around with them anyway okay so I've got all these hamburgers but now I want to make them random sizes and random angles so I'm going to select them all the way I'm going to do that, <clears throat> make sure I've got my selection tool. I'm going to start here in the corner and I'm pressing down with my mouse and I'm dropping down and selecting everybody. I'm holding the mouse down and now I've got it all selected. I'm going to come up to Object Transform and Transform Each. And when it does that, when you come over here, you I have these at 15%, you can change those. Uh, move them. I'm not moving them anywhere on the page. I guess you could if you wanted to like, I'm going to move these over here. I'm going to move those over there. So you can see every time you mess around with it, it changes them up. Um, let me bring this back to zero here. Um, angle zero because I'm not like distorting them or anything. So, but if you wanted to tr do like a 90 degree angle. I guess you could do that. So that's going to twist them around and make them kind of angle and turn a little bit. So now I've got a pattern. Let's say I don't want to, <laughs> you can just keep playing with it. Transform each again. You can keep on playing with it until you've got it the way you like it. Just keep clicking preview and it will change the randomization of it until you're like, oh, I kind of like that. Um, also, if you're like, you got it to where you like most of them, but there's like one that looks funky or like that's too tiny or something. Then you can go in and change the size of one. I'll show you in a second. So let's say that <clears throat> I just love I'm trying to find one that is a random one that I like. Okay, let's just pretend like this is the one I fell in love with right here. Okay, then I'll select. Okay, ah, it changed it. Oh dear. Okay, so then I'm going to come in and I'm like, oh, I kind of like it, but this one's too tiny. I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to select it with, I have my mouse up here, make sure it's on selection. And I'm going to hold down the mouse and draw a little rectangle around it to select it. And then I'm going to hold shift and drag it, make it a little bit bigger, like so. 
So that's how you do that. So now I've got this one. Again, I can go in and change sizes on them if I want them a little bit different. And you can manually do this, but that's how you do it with the randomization tool. And you can do this with obviously any kind of image, any anything you want, basically. Don't forget you guys, I've got two links down below. One is for signing up for Printful and the other one is to get your 40 free listings for Etsy. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Go down there and leave it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Was it clear? Did you understand? Or was there something I need to elaborate on? I really appreciate you coming to check it out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.